friends. This time I'm reading Good Night Sleep Tight by David Melling. Good night, sleep tight. A new sound echoed along the corridors of the castle. To the king and the queen was born a royal princess. The prince had a baby sister. He couldn't see what all the fuss was about. Among the many splendid presents was the softest, fluffiest pillow in the kingdom. But one day, the fat royal cat squashed it flat. The poor princess cried and cried and cried. So the king popped over for a little chat with his loyal knight. Fill this with something soft and fluffy, he burped, and hurry. The knight leapt into action. He was so quick, there wasn't even enough time to finish the sentence. Deep inside the wild wood, prickly bears, rubbed their grumbly tummies. Lunchtime, they slurped. But it wasn't time for lunch. Two minutes later, the grizzly bears shuffled back into the shadows, rubbing their sore bottoms and mumbling to themselves. Well, really, it's hardly fair. We just wanted a quick nibble. No need for that. Their hair lay everywhere. The knight filled the pillow and gave it to the horse. Is this pillow soft enough for the princess? He asked. Nay, said the horse. He thought it was too scratchy. Nobody noticed the slinky shadows curling around the tree trunks. A jumble of wolves howled from the trees. They sniffed the night, they sniffed the horse, and they sniffed away. Wolf hair lay everywhere. The knight filled the pillow again and gave it to the horse. Is this pillow soft enough for the princess? He asked. Nay, said the horse. He thought it was too bristly. Just then, an owl dropped out of the sky and bounced on off the knight's head. Feathers fluttered gently to the floor. That's it, cried the knight. I'll make a pillow of feathers. If it's feathers you want, said the dizzy owl, follow me. I'll take you to see... The feather trees. So the knight and his I'm completely scared of heights horse clambered up into the branches. All the birds gathered around to listen to the knight's tale. There were feathers everywhere. When he had finished, the birds happily agreed to help and plucked just enough feathers to fill the pillow into the royal brim. The knight and his faithful horse waved goodbye and galloped and galloped until they came back into the wild wood. They rustled and wiggled their way through its darkest secrets and plopped out on the other side. Beep, beep, beep. 
No one in the castle had slept for a week, so they were very pleased to see the knight return. Place that child upon that pillow before I go bananas, wailed the king. Everyone held their breath. Princess didn't. So the prince leaned over and gave his baby sister a cuddle. The princess stopped crying. She smiled, blew a little bubble, and then went to sleep. The king hugged the prince. The queen hugged the prince. At last, the castle fell silent. Except for the snoring that snuffled sleepily through the corridors. Good night. Sleep tight. The end. Friends, I hope you liked this video. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.